tilt to the left before you take that first bell and say, ready? Hotavi, E. Ya, da, 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 forward, and one, and two, three, four. My first name is Katarina, and the last name is Shepartitska. So I started learning Ukrainian dance when I was, I would say, maybe 12 or 13. It just kind of grew and grew and branched out, and so it's been a big part of my life for a long time. On my father's side, his parents, so my grandparents, immigrated to Canada from Ukraine. They immigrated to Canada, ended up in Winnipeg, and met each other there. There were about 60 years where there was no connection with family. When I think about it now, it's actually pretty shocking. I didn't think about it that much when I was younger, but 60 years. In 1987, I went back with my now husband to study Ukrainian dance over in Kiev, in the capital of Ukraine. This would have been the first time that I met family after that 60 year um, distance between us here in Canada and, and family in Ukraine. Very, very quickly, so many things fell into place for me. Like it was just a puzzle that it just all fell into place and gestures and language were the same. It just really felt like home. Tekla is her name, my, my Baba was called Yustina, and to, to meet her the very first time, she just looks so much like my Baba. In 1991, the Dnipro dance ensemble that I was working with at the time in Ottawa traveled over to Ukraine on a tour, and as we were in midair between Amsterdam and Warsaw, um, the Perevorot happened. People were gathering in the streets with the blue and yellow flag, um, it, it was incredible, like there were people out in the streets celebrating the fact um, that the Soviet Union had collapsed um, and our dancers were right in the middle of that. We were the first Ukrainian dance ensemble from Canada into a free Ukraine. When we came back after that experience, um, it had moved us so much that three of us co-founded the Svitonok Ensemble, and Svitonok means dawn in Ukrainian, so like a new, a new way, a new, a new path. I remember for the first months, really, like following the news every day, like just trying to understand what was going on and it was just shocking and there really is a genocide going on right now. It's it's targeted, it's like, a, it's the Ukrainian nation does not exist or that identity does not exist and it's not the first time I remember back to sort of messages that I've only realized now from grandparents that would have tried, tried to pass that kind of message on. So to just hang on to the the legacy of the people that are from that part of the world and their distinct culture and languages and to ensure that um, as a diaspora that you know it's not our place to be involved in making decisions there but to do whatever we can to support just to ensure that 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 culture and that sort of worldview has a place in the world today and can continue. For me, dance has been a really important part of that um, and building that Ukrainian dance community here in Ottawa. So it really is connected a lot to identity, but who, who, who am I in this place, in the world at this time? Who am I and what, what am I carrying with me? Pull those memories away, pull the ancestors away. Ready, strong. It's not just sort of a history, it's, it's how do I carry myself in the world with all of what my ancestors have gone through or accomplished or, or, or done and, and how can I continue some kind of legacy and develop it and remain attached to a root but, but continue to, de to develop uh, in the world some kind of contribution that carries some meaning. <laughs>